So you're thinking about moving to sunny Pleasant Hill, California. Well, in this video, we're talking about how much your 700,000 can get you. So stay tuned. What's up everyone, it's Rachel Capel here with Keller Williams in the East Bay. We're talking about all things San Francisco Bay Area related to this channel, living here, playing, having fun, relocating. If you wanna know that, stay tuned. Click the subscribe button, smash the like buttons, and make sure to reach out to us if you have questions. We love them, so keep them coming. If you wanna know what it's like living in the Bay? We got you covered, so reach out and let us know those cues. So let's get to this video. What your 700,000 can get you living in Pleasant Hill, California. All right. So I have picked three listings that are currently on the market in the price range between 500 and 750. So you can see the first listing here, um, 585. Uh, this is going to be a town home. So let's kind of take a look here. Um, I'm pretty familiar with this area. It's right around the corner from me and it's attached to Strandwood School, which is a great school. So all three of these have really great schools. So you can see you're not gonna get a single family residence in this price point, uh, but you will get a nice townhouse. This is, looks like it's pretty updated, it's cute, uh, not absolutely brand new, not a huge outdoor living space, but pretty pretty modern you know this is what 585 can get you decent little um, decks there that you can hang out on laundry in the facility which is great really pretty complex I love the redwoods and you've got garage so and it's very close to downtown so that's an, a huge added bonus is that you can walk to these places so um, it's not far and downtown Pleasant Hill is a really cute area. So the next one, 750, this is going to be at the, um, the top. Um, the next one's 749. I actually just viewed this one with a client the other day. Um, it's owner occupied, which is a little bit different, but, um, if you can, uh, take out all of the, uh, furniture and have a blank slate. One thing that was really beautiful about this um, particular unit was it had an awesome outdoor um, deck. There was like three different decks and one um, at the bottom. It's a, I think it was a kind of like a tri-level. Um, you could actually go out and walk straight into the woods. So the, the woods, the hills, <laughs> the, um, it's, it's a little bit dated, this unit, but um, a lot of potential. See how pretty it is out there. The view is just phenomenal. So that was one thing that I think you're kind of paying for is it's really quiet. And there's that deck I was talking about. You can walk right down in here and the kids can, a little bit dangerous for little kids, but older kids could easily go out here and kind of explore. It was really, really, really pretty. And it was super quiet. And this is actually attached to a really great elementary school. So if this is a bit of a starter home for you, it could be a good, um, a good place to start and then sell uh, down the road as you get the kids get older and need to play a little bit more um, and it's nice that you have a garage so with this unit you kind of walk in you do go a couple steps down and you'll end up in the kitchen in the sleeping area so it was a really nice unit my clients wanted um, just a little bit more space though so this is another townhome um, it's actually very 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 close to downtown um, walk there, which is a really nice, um, just amenity to have. Um, so this is what 749 will get you. Now this one, um, the one negative was there wasn't a ton of parking, but as you can see in the complex, but you could park on the street here, which is right, really nice. So this unit actually has like a walk-in. Um, and I saw this actually with my clients too. Um, cute little patio area in the front. Um, and the kitchen was really nice. The space in the um, downstairs was really cool. It was open concept. Um, the one thing that my clients did mention was that it's just the rooms, the upstairs rooms were a little bit small for their taste, but I really liked the floor plan of this. So you can like have the living room here. It was really nice with the natural light. Um, and so this is pretty much, you know, pretty updated, um, not, all brand new but it was clean and nice and you do have a garage and pretty good storage with this unit so you can see the colors were nice bathroom laundry in um, the unit which is really important so at this price point you're essentially going to get a townhouse that's going to be fairly updated but not like 
brand, brand spanking new. Um, but again, it all depends on what you want and the walkability to downtown Lana Creek is great. So there's the garage. And yeah, these units don't have a ton of parking um, in the complex, but there is a pool. So that's kind of a nice little feature. Um, so yeah, it's a great starter home. So it looks like this price point. Oh, that's a cute little park for the kids. Um, and this is really close to the canal um, trail that leads into the Iron Horse Trail. So that is what you will get in the price range between $500 and $750. You're looking at a townhouse. You are not going to get um, a single family residence for this price. Okay, so there you have it. What $700,000 can get you? Not a ton, but some cute little places. Obviously, everything in the Bay is on the rise as well as across the nation. So if you have questions and you want to know more about living in Pleasant Hill or relocating to the Bay or buying and selling in the Bay, we got you covered. Click all the buttons. The numbers are above. Subscribe. Do all the things that you have to do. And make sure to check out these videos up here that will give you more information on Pleasant Hill and living in the Bay Area. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. And thanks so much for hanging. Bye, guys.